how to get more reviews on your Google My Business page. When you go to Google and conduct a search uh, for a business that you're looking for, one of the first things that you see is the local pack and the reviews are prominently placed there. Um, 90% of consumers turn to online reviews before making a purchasing decision. Uh, these reviews are extremely important. When you have higher, when you have more reviews with a higher star rating, uh, you have a higher likelihood of seeing um, increased click-through rate versus the other competitors in the local pack. This is also one of the top ranking factors within the local pack. So the question is, how do you get more reviews? Um, we're going to dive into this. There are tactics that we use at our agency that we also help deploy for clients that I want to share with you. This is not overly complex. And once you get a better understanding of the proactiveness needed to get more reviews, your business will have a great strategy moving forward. One thing that's really important to note is where to get your Google My Business share link. A lot of people don't know this exists and this is a critical piece of information. So now the Google My Business uh, page is located within Google's main search interface. So here you can see I search for the media captain and here all of my Google My Business information is there. You have to be logged into the Gmail account associated with your Google My Business, type in your brand name and you can manage this all here. And you will start to see that you can edit your profile, um, you know, you could read your reviews, obviously a lot of different options there, but a lot of people don't know where this is because you have to click the down arrow and then it says ask for reviews. And when you ask for reviews, give customers a link uh, to review your business on Google. And you can simply copy that and voila, you have the link that you can start soliciting and asking for reviews. One of the first things you want to determine when it comes to online reviews is if you're a high velocity or a low velocity uh, type of business. And let me explain this. High velocity would be like a plumbing company. If you're doing 20 to 25 jobs per day, those are a lot of customers you can reach out to for online reviews. For the media captain, uh, I would put us in low velocity. We're maybe completing five to seven websites per month and you know we reach out to clients when they get on the first page of Google asking them for a review, but that doesn't happen every day, so I would put us into low velocity. The reason that this is important is because high velocity should use a software where this is more automated, um, where low velocity can be more of a manual process. So I'll dive into this more, but determine whether your business is high velocity versus low velocity. Okay, if you're a high velocity business like a plumbing company, uh, I was talking about GatherUp. This is a platform that we use that we love. Here's a plumbing company. Um, you can see that you have a dashboard where you're able to manage all of uh, your online reviews, which is great. But the other thing is rather than sending off a um, email every time, there are templates within GatherUp, which I'll show you here in a minute, but you can add a customer, customer in manually. This allows for you not only to get a review via email, or text message, and by the way, text message has a much higher uh, open rate and conversion rate than email nowadays, but you can also import customers. So it can upload a CSV file, and if you're working, you know, if you're doing 25 jobs a day, it might be very difficult to, um, you know, send this off one by one. So it gives you the ability to scale. Uh, let me just also show you uh, some templates and how this works. One of the other nice things with a platform like GatherUp is uh, there is a workflow. It gives you the ability to create automations. So if somebody's not replying to an email to leave a review, it can have a follow-up in two to three days. Um, another nice thing is that you might not know when you're at scale if a customer had a good or bad experience. So it provides uh, a feedback form and if anybody, and so you can customize this. So if anybody has given you below a seven star rating, it's not gonna push them directly to Google or Facebook. It will go to an internal customer service questionnaire where you will get valuable feedback that will improve from a customer service perspective. But if you get, let's say eight or nine stars or above, you can then prompt them to leave the review on Google. So again, the beauty of a platform like a gather up when you're at scale, you can upload many customers, you can send off emails and texts, it gives you the ability to weed out the good reviews versus the bad reviews. And overall, it's just great from a customer service perspective.
If you are a low velocity business like the media captain, rather than paying a monthly fee to uh, gather up or bird eye, um, you can just create a template. So we use HubSpot as our CRM and we have a template within there. You can create a template within uh, your Gmail account. Um, and then it's really easy to just input the template and ask for a review. So you can see we have this template for the media captain and two of the most popular review sites for us are um, Google, of course, and Clutch, which is uh, where a lot of people do research for an agency. So, um, you know, we have this template we send it out uh, and we have a proactive strategy. So when we complete a website and we're obviously comfortable in the work that we've done, we will ask clients to leave a review. When we get a client on the first page of Google um, and they're, you know, we've improved their ranking, we also ask them for a review. So we have a system in place and it's really important for your business to determine a system. Is it when a job's completed? Is it when you've reached a certain milestone? Um, because if you don't do that, then there's no uh, consistency or game plan. But when you have a template, it makes it a lot easier and just make sure you have milestones associated with when you're going to send it out. And then you can be getting a lot of reviews for your business. Being proactive is extremely important when it comes to getting reviews. Uh, most people think that reviews are just going to happen naturally, that, oh, somebody had a good experience and they're going to talk positively about my company. As a small business owner, I can tell you this is not the case. It's actually the opposite. Um, when people have a bad experience, they will definitely let you know on a site like Google. Um, but you need to be proactive in asking for online reviews. Uh, the most common thing we see when people um, need our help with review management, somebody left a scathing review and we have to then be proactive. Don't wait for that to happen. Um, be proactive, start coming up with a process where you're asking for reviews. You will build up a lot of reviews and a lot of trust for your business, which is gonna help uh, from a Google My Business ranking perspective. And this will also offset any negative review that comes in. It's never easy dealing with this. And I'll tell you what, people actually don't trust a complete five-star rating. They are more likely to trust a 4.7, 4.8, 4.9. So getting a bad review, it's okay, it's not the end of the world. Just make sure you're being proactive in soliciting more new reviews. In closing, online reviews are really important for your business. You need to determine whether or not you're a high velocity type business or more lower velocity where the review solicitation can be a little bit more customized. You want to always be proactive in your online reviews. And if you do this, more people will have trust um, for your company based off of your overall uh, Google review rating. My name is Jason Parks with The Media Captain. If you ever have any questions, you can reach out to me at themediacaptain.com.